Hello, good evening. First tonight, fears of an escalation in neo-Nazi activity in this region after a 400-strong rally takes place in the Fens. The recent gathering, organised by the extreme right-wing group called Blood and Honour, attracted supporters from across mainland Europe. It's emerged that the two-day rally took place without the full knowledge of the authorities. Even the owner of the land it happened on was unaware of the nature of the event. Just to warn you, some viewers may find the anti-Semitic imagery and content in Sally Chidsoy's report now upsetting. Inside a marquee in a field in the Cambridgeshire Fens, hundreds of neo-Nazis. They gather for a night of music and a night of hate against non-whites and Jews. We want white Jews! We want they belong to Blood and Honor, an extreme right organization that's banned in many countries across Europe and in Russia, but not here. The majority of people who made their way uh, to Cambridge actually came from Germany, Holland, Belgium and France. Only a very small number of the people who were there in Cambridge were actually from the United Kingdom. But it is concerning, obviously, when you get numbers of, of, of people from other countries who come here uh, who are attached to organizing organizations that may be organizing violence. The two-day event to commemorate the death of their British founder Ian Stuart Donaldson was held in this field near Ely a fortnight ago. Passers-by were worried by what was going on. I saw a lot of cars, a big bonfire and there was a lot of music. The one I heard was a song about white power. It just kept going on and on. It was very loud and distinctive. For two days, Blood and Honour members camped in the field. They posed for pictures. The landowners say they didn't know it was a neo-Nazi event. The organisers resorted to subterfuge to get around the authorities. They told East Cambridgeshire District Council it was a private party with music. The council passed the information to the police, who inspected the field. They said officers were told that it would be a private event for 350 people, raising money for Help for Heroes in memory of Ian Stewart Donaldson. The BBC has been told it's not the first time the annual Blood and Honour event's been held in Cambridgeshire. It's angered those fighting hate crimes. They include the organisation working to protect the Jewish community. There's no doubt that these are really ugly scenes to see scores of people seek heiling, shouting anti-Semitic abuse, looking like absolute boneheads, but nevertheless, very ugly stuff. You don't really expect 200-odd Nazis to turn up and hold a gig in a field. The charity Help for Heroes that supports wounded, injured and sick veterans said this event was not registered with the charity and we don't accept donations from extremist groups. Donations made by this group will be rejected. The skinheads and white nationalists that make up Blood and Honour are said to have struggled to find venues in the UK to host their concerts but still the British movement continues to attract fascists from across Europe. Well, our Home Affairs correspondent Sally Chidzo is with me now. Sally, how did police miss this? Well, it's an obvious question and a good one, but uh, to sum up, they're not saying. But uh, what we do know is that they appear to have been caught short, and what we do know is that it appears that someone pulled the wall over their eyes. They went to the site. Uh, they were given a clue. The organisers did actually say Ian Stuart Donaldson, and had they put that in a search engine, it would have come up with the late uh, white supremacist. It again appears that they didn't. So what do we know about the group itself then that organised it? The group's been around for a long time, established in this country, but it has divisions across the world and uh, across Europe, and indeed it's, uh, as I said, they're being banned. And it does raise questions about monitoring. If people are coming from countries where it's banned, were they monitored when they came into this country? Were they, their movements assessed? And was the intelligence passed on to um, the police here in Cambridgeshire? Uh, it appears not. What about at a national level? Has the government got anything to say about it? Well, uh, the Home Office say it's not a banned group. Um, it's not necessarily linked to terrorism. And the Home Office said it's up to the police themselves. They've got enough powers uh, over uh, taking action in anything involving incitement of hatred. I have spoken to a former chief constable, and he tells me he believes the authorities in this country have taken their eye off the ball with the rise in extreme right activity across Europe. Uh, they should be more on the case right here in this country, and indeed... Uh, what we've seen in Cambridgeshire. Sally, thanks very much.